Hello, welcome to Maths with J. So here we want to start off by finding the gradient of a straight line connecting the two points Q and R. So one way of doing this would be to write down the formula for the gradient of a line. And you've probably seen it looking like this. So M is Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. And that's where the coordinates of uh, one point are X1, Y1, and the coordinates of the other point are X2, Y2. It doesn't matter which is which. One is Q and one is R. Um, which way round shall we do this? Let's start off with, um, with Q as X2, Y2. So then that would give us that M is equal to difference in Y coordinates, so 13 minus 5 over the difference in the x coordinates so that's going to be negative 3 subtract negative 1 so we've got 8 over negative 3 plus 1 will be negative 2 so we found that the gradient is negative 4 another way of finding the gradient would be to think about where the points are and so you could say okay let's start off with um, the point nearest the origin that would be the point R and then that's at minus 1 5 so to get from minus 1 to minus 3 we'd have to go back 2 and then to get from 5 to 13 we'd have to go up 8 so this is just a sketch to kind of think about where one point is in relation to the other so we've got a right angle triangle where this side is 2 and this side is 8 and we can see the gradient is negative so the gradient is going to be the difference in y divided by the difference in x so that's 8 divided by 2 and a negative gradient so negative 4. Right so that's part a done and then looking at part b we're given a point and we're asked whether or not that point lies on the straight line passing through q and r. So the simplest way to do this would be to work out the equation of the line through q and r and then see if t lies on that line. So we've already found the gradient, so let's clear ourselves some space and work out what the, uh, the equation of the line is. So let's just uh, note down what the gradient was. So the gradient was minus 4. And the formula that we might use now is, if we know a point and the gradient, so the formula we could use is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And we can substitute in the point Q or R, and that will give us the same result, whichever one we use. So let's use the one that's got smaller numbers in it. I go for the point R here. So then we've got Y minus, and then we've got the Y coordinate is 5. We've just found that M is minus 4, and our X coordinate for R is negative 1. We want to put another set of brackets around there. And then we just want to simplify that. Remember that we're aiming to write the equation of the line down as y equals mx plus c. That's the simplest form really, isn't it? So then we've got minus 4x here. And then we've got a plus 1 inside the brackets because we've got minus negative 1. And we're multiplying that by negative 4. So that's going to give us minus 4 when we simplify that. So you might have wanted to put an extra stage in here just to make it a bit simpler to show that the minus and a negative comes to a plus. Right, and then all we need to do is add 5 to both sides, so we've got minus 4x plus 5 will give us a plus 1 there. Right, so now we want to know if t lies on this line. So t has got an x coordinate of 200, so what we're going to do is have a look at what happens when x equals 200. If y equals minus 801, then we know that t does lie on the line. If not, it doesn't. So when x is 200, y is equal to minus 4 times 200 plus 1. So that's minus 800 plus 1. So that's minus 799. So it's not minus 801. So t does not lie on that straight line. So t is not on the straight line connecting Q and R. 
So that's one way of working out whether or not T lies on that straight line. Have you thought of another way that you could have done that instead of the method I've used?